Okay, let's just do a quick video here. This is using the Bezier tool to trace out a design. Now this design, typically I would probably just auto trace. It's pretty clean, not too pixelated, but I just wanted to pick something fairly simple so we could show you the process, you know, without getting too in depth or boring you to death with a 30 minute video. Anyway, select the Bezier tool here and you click on, you know, a point to start. I usually pick a point in the halfway mark, and I'll show you why here in a minute, but click and set your anchor. Now you can, with the Bezier tool, click, hold down the left button, and drag, and you can make curves. Sometimes that's handy on a design that has a lot of curves, because see, when you come out of that, it's going to curve again. So if I had something that was really curvy outline, I could do like this. But in this case, the way I typically do it is straight lines and then I come back and curve them. So I'll go around the contour and set anchor points around the outside of this curve. You don't have to be perfect on this at this point. You're just wanting to get the basic shape. So you'll go around and lay points and you get kind of get a feel with time of how many points you need on a curve to make it work. So I'll go around the outside of this, drop some nodes, and now on a design like this, I'm only going to trace half of it. I'm going to come down here now to my start point. You hover over, it turns red, click it, that'll close that contour. Now on something like this, I can't see my black lines very well, so I'll go to Node Editor, then I'll go to Fill and Stroke. I'll change my stroke paint to like a red, something that contrasts well that I can see. Now I'll go back around and I drag my lines and adjust my curves to match my contour. Now like on this, any node on a curve, I want those to be smooth, no angles to them. So you come up here and click this, make selected nodes smooth when the node is highlighted, and that smooths that curve out. So you go around now, you go back over the design, and adjust all these to match your curves. And don't worry about getting them perfect when you're initially dragging them. You just click and drag them, get them close. Once you've got them close, then you highlight them, smooth them, and then after you've smoothed them, you can go back through and tweak them and get your curve just right the way you want it. And those are going to be nice, smooth curves. You're not going to get any choppy spots in your cut. You know, that's, that's what we're looking for is the best quality cut we can come up with. So, you know, anywhere on an angle like this, you want to leave those angled you don't want to smooth those but then I would come around just this possibly on a curve like this sometimes you can make it work with two nodes that's not too bad sometimes you might have to make a node in the center in order to make that curve look right but I think that one will work so I'll go around drag the rest of these make them match the curve smooth the ones that are on a curve Get those about where you want them. Looks pretty good. You know, match all your curves up the way you want them. Sometimes on an angle like this too, sometimes you want a sharp point. Sometimes after I've made my angle, you can take and double click on the line add a couple nodes there and then delete the point smooth these out then you can come in you know pull these handles in a little bit and that'll give you a little more smooth where it's not such a sharp point on those edges just depends on what you're going for sometimes a point won't hurt you know sometimes it could you're making a weapon instead of a sign but now here's another thing I like to do I want my all my lines to be smooth symmetrical even so here, 
I want this line to be straight all the way across. I'd highlight all those nodes, go to my align and distribute menu, select this, make the horizontal, make nodes even horizontal. Click that. See now it's a straight, nice, clean line across there. Same here. Now those are perfectly even. Maybe adjust a little more. Now next, I want to go over, since I'm going to duplicate this to make both sides perfectly symmetrical, I'm going to highlight these two center ones, and now I'm going to make these even vertically by selecting this over here on the right. And see, that actually moved it quite a bit, but they're, they're lined up, and that's why I'd rather have it. So, then I would control D. And I can flip this. I've duplicated that, flipped it, drag it over here and let it snap. Select this one by holding shift. Now they're both selected. Shift control plus. Now those are union. Now if I were to add a fill, like say blue, so you can see it, I've got a perfectly symmetrical floor to lee there. Now I'll hit control Z, take the fill off. I'd want to go over and capture these. Same deal, I'll do one side, duplicate it, flip it, align it, and move it over here. That way everything stays the same throughout this design. You know, you don't have a curve on one side that doesn't match the other side. Close that. Same deal. Want to go over here and maybe make you know, you can make it green. It doesn't matter what color you make it, as long as it contrasts well where you can see what you're doing. Adjust my curves. You kind of get a feel for this, too. Like here, this is going to be too thin, so I didn't quite follow that contour. Adjust these lines here. Smooth all these. So I've got nice, clean cuts. You know, adjust it where I want it. You just drag these handles around. It's best just to go in on designs like this and just play around. The more you play with it, the more comfortable you get. Anyway, you get it about how you want it. Like I said, I'm not following that curve there exactly because that's not going to work very well for getting too thin. So now here, I want this line to line up with this line, so I'd hold shift and click on this red contour, highlight one of these, and then hold shift and click one of these, go to your line and distribute, and see I have last selected, selected here. So it's going to line these two up with this one because that's the last one I selected. So I'll hit the horizontal node, alignment tool. And that'll drop those down. Now those are all nice and even. Then I would hit this contour. Same deal. You know, when you're dropping these nodes in, you don't have to be perfect because you're just roughing them in there. Okay. Zoom in a little so I can see what I'm doing. And this, I obviously don't know what size I'm going with right now. This is just for an example, but it might be getting a little thin there, depending on what size you cut it. So I'll smooth these nodes. You know, adjust my contour where I want it. I'll move that one a little. Okay, now same deal. I want this line to match this line. So I'll hold shift, click this, highlight these two nodes, shift, click that, then back to my line and distribute, line those up horizontally. Once again, now I've got a nice clean line across there. Everything follows. You know, it's, I don't know, I'm real picky about stuff like that. So now, like on this, I'm going to want this contour to match over here. So I'm going to hold shift and click this one. Shift control plus. Oh, screwed up there. I had the 
I had the red contour selected too. I want to hold the green, select that green contour, hold shift, select that one, shift control plus and union those. Now I'm going to control D and then flip that. Then I'm going to hold control and click on this and drag it. That's going to keep it on the same horizontal plane all the way across. Now I'm going to bring it over here. It's going to be difficult to snap, but I'll turn my snapping tool off. Now I'm going to drag it where it looks like it's about the same position as the other side. Just to be sure, sometimes it'll get off on that plane, that horizontal line you were following. So I'll hit this, hold shift and click this. Then I'll go over my align and distribute and align it horizontally. Then I'll shift control plus, combine those two, or union them. Then I'll select the red contour and align it vertically, center it vertically. Now those are perfectly centered. Now I can shift control minus. Now see I've got a floor to lee and I've got those cutouts on each side. If I get rid of that background you can see better. It's perfectly symmetrical, perfectly even on both sides. So control Z, control Z, take the fill back off. Now I need this piece here. Now that one probably because this design wasn't symmetrical I'll hit control and drag this over a little center it up a little more on that drawing and then trace this out and I'll line it up anyway I would click here come down here click here drop a node here hit one there Use my fill and stroke again. Adjust this curve. It's all, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do it kind of slow and explain it as I'm going. But it gets, it gets a lot easier with practice. All right. So I've got that. Now I'm going to want this, these here. Once again, I'm going to want to be in line with these. So I highlight those and then hold shift and click this red and then select this node here. Now I'll line it horizontally. See now that's now I've got a perfect line all the way across all these. Now I'm gonna want this to follow the center line here. So I'm gonna select these two and then hold shift and hit that and I'm gonna line those vertically. Now that's cut perfectly down the middle. Then all I got left is this down here. Same deal, just a quick drop a few nodes here and there. This one's pretty easy even. Go to my fill and stroke. Change color where I can see it. I find green and red are the best fill strokes to use when you're tracing an image out. But one of those two colors will always contrast well. Then I'll hold shift, select the red, same deal, highlight these, and then shift, just pick the node closest, and back to align and distribute, and I'll line those up horizontally. And then the only thing left to do on this one is hold shift, and I'll select this green one. Uh, now I'll drag a box around these two nodes, and then shift and hold this node. Or select this node and now align those vertically now this should be perfectly lined up down the center and the only thing left to do on this particular design is select those two middle green ones shift control plus and then select the outer contour minus and there's a perfectly symmetrical nice clean floor to lee traced out start to finish you know like I say this isn't a complicated design and you could auto trace it and it would come out pretty good but doing it this way you get one that's 
absolutely Th this original one wasn't even perfect because as you've seen when i did one side flipped it it ended up being wider that's because this this one here is not completely even this thing is as perfect as you're going to get and when you trace them this way as you can see your node count you've got minimal nodes there i mean just the bare minimum to make that a nice clean cut it's at the end of the day this is the best way to trace out a design sometimes it's a little more time consuming but the results are a lot better thanks for watching this video